Welcome back in to another beer review with yours truly, Nutmeg to Palmetto, coming to you as always from my Midland studio down in South Carolina. I've got a very special beer here from a big, dime, big time, big name brewery that a lot of people, most people in this little community know about. It also came to me via Beer Trade from a good friend of mine on Instagram, at Alyssa Drinks Beer, up in that northern upstate New York neck of the woods. It is, of course, unmistakable logo, the MB right there. That is Mortalis Brewing. I don't believe it's a collaboration. No, it is not. It is strictly a Mortalis. The title is as above so below as you'll see the can is very much this night sky individual out there reaching up at the stars the moon's over here a lot of gold worked into it it is the two primary adjuncts i love them both they put them right on the can front and center marshmallow and peanut butter so I can only imagine how decadent this is going to be, so I can't wait to crack it open with you fine folks, so let's just get right to that, shall we? Well, boy, let me tell you, no sooner than did I crack this can open, did I just get blasted in the face with all that peanut buttery goodness. So let's go with the full, full experience now. Yeah, a lot, you know what? It's a lot more, despite the fact that it really just burst and popped right at me as soon as I opened the can. The peanut butter is actually a lot more subtle going full in. What's more strong, getting this close to comfort, is a more of a creamy, more of a creaminess, so it's probably the marshmallow. Um, and like a little bit, maybe even a little bit of smokiness. So maybe they did kind of a roasted marshmallow type of thing to bring back some nice feelings, emotions about like roasting over a campfire or something. Yeah, the peanut butter is a lot more subtle going full in. Anywho, let's uh, waste no further ado and take a sip of this decadent fine boy. Wow. Man, oh man, is that strong? Well, you saw my reaction. It definitely gave me a big kick in the teeth. Um, very, very strong chocolate, like dark chocolate, like that bitter kind of dark chocolate flavor. Which, I don't know, to me, I, I don't know if it's really dark chocolate. Like, yes, that's characteristic of dark chocolate, but there is a certain type of peanut butter flavor that can give you more of a harsher, bitter type of flavor as well. It's not always this like soft, creamy type of peanut butter flavor. It's usually, sometimes it's like a, like eating a peanut versus eating spread peanut butter. And I think that that is what, I think that is what can really draw a line in the sand to make peanut butter not such a one note adjunct. You can, you, you kind of don't know what you're gonna get all the time from it. Sometimes it's sweet and creamy. Sometimes it's got a little more of a harsher bite to it. So that's certainly what this is. It also could be the booziness. This beer is 10%. But the longer you sip on it, that's it. That, you know, that first initial sip, you're kind of like, whoa, holy cow, what did I just drink? But the more you kind of drink on it, it, um, 
it kind of settles in, settles in a little bit. Now I will say Mortalis has a reputation of being pretty unique. And to me, this kind of tastes like a, anyone else's type of peanut butter stout. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the marshmallow on the back now, probably as the beer's warming up and all those flavors are coming out. Um, but so that's coming a little bit more, that smokiness is coming back, a little bit of sweetness is coming back, but right now it's still very, very subtle. So like it's like I said, with, with Mortalis, I tend to expect something unique and this kind of tastes like anyone else's peanut butter stout. It's very, very good, but it, it doesn't feel like it's set apart. It doesn't feel like it's set apart from any other beers of this particular style. Anyway, if you liked what you see, go and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, Hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop coming straight to you on your phone, tablet, mobile device, computer, whatever the case may be. If you want to recommend a beer to me or maybe even send me a beer, go ahead and email me, nutmeg2palmetto at gmail.com. If this isn't enough of me for you, I know, perish the thought, go ahead and follow me on my social media channels at nutmeg2palmetto on TikTok and Instagram. If social media is not your thing, but you like this whole craft beer thing, go ahead and download and listen to the Upstate Beer Boys podcast. My co-host and I travel around the Palmetto State and talk to breweries and tap rooms to get their stories out there into, into public consumption. So it gives a little bit of humanity behind what these businesses and entre entrepreneurs go through. With that being said, it's 10%. It may take me a little bit to finish this, but I'm going to enjoy it. It's starting to settle in a little bit, and I'm enjoying it. So thank you. So cheers to Mortalis. This is very good, if not as unique as I was hoping. And thank you again to Alyssa Drinks Beer for sending it my way. Cheers, everyone. I'll see you next time.